Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take 181. I thought I would come to you live from outside this morning. It's a different Wednesday for me. As you know, I usually stay home in the mornings and do this stuff. I speak with my clients and then I go do my other stuff. Um, you may not know that, but that's what I do. This morning it's a bit different. I've um, come out to do some stuff this morning and then I'll go home and spend the afternoon with my boys. Mark is off work and Bud's still not feeling the best so I think it's going to be an afternoon of laying low and just giving Buddy some some love that he needs and making him some nice chicken and rice again. <laughs> so I just wanted to pop on and have a chat about um, with everything going on I have talked to a few people about still getting fresh air and I think it's important to know that um, with uh, social distancing and isolation and all, all this chat going on in the world um, I'm not kind of being specific to any country or anything because I understand that every place is quite different right now but I think it's really important that you still get out and you get some vitamin D and some fresh air if possible um, a lot of people are still going for walks walks around the neighborhood still good if you see someone walking up the side of the street as well you know you can always just cross to the other side um, make sure you wash your hands before and after you go for a walk and try not to touch anything it's, it's quite simple um, but then there is the fear of sometimes going outside doing what you're not supposed to but getting fresh air is quite healthy so we still want to maintain our happiness and healthiness getting fresh air helps it's a you know just getting outside and being in the sun it's a good dose of vitamin d which helps be more happy go for a walk smile just you know it's contagious so even going for hikes and stuff you know it's just walking off the path if you need to, you know, if you're walking this way and someone else is walking this way. It's just stepping off the path for a minute, but don't, don't not go hiking or walking or, you know, doing some of the outdoor exercise that you normally do just because you are isolated. So I hope that makes sense. Getting outside, getting in the fresh air is, is still really good for everyone. Um, so much happening here. <laughs> But I just wanted to pop on today and talk about, you know, making sure you're still being you and still being happy and getting out, even, you know, spending some time in the backyard just before you go outside and after you come in, do everything necessary, such as washing your hands. If you are exercising, you know, taking a shower, same thing, washing your hands, just soap up, enjoy it. If you take a little bit longer of a shower, wash your face, wash your hands. Um, Keep sanitizer around is always good when you're on your walks as well if you have a little bottle. I know everything is a little bit difficult to find these days and everyone's using stuff sparingly but again getting outside is, is still important. It's, it's, um, it's good for you. <laughs> like I said yesterday, if anything is worrying you and you don't know who to talk to about stuff and you just need someone to listen as you kind of not vent but have a debrief to yourself about even what you want to talk to to your family about feel free to book in for a free strategy session I'm happy to have those chats I definitely you know had a big chat to everyone yesterday on my live about back off car <laughs> Um, I definitely had a big chat yesterday about some of my thoughts on this whole coronavirus and you know where my headspace is. I think it's important to keep talking, to keep communication open. It does help reduce stress and anxiety. Um, sometimes we just need someone to listen and not hear others' opinions. And it's difficult, so if you need that, I am here for you. That's what I can be doing from the comfort of my own house when I'm not outside talking to you. <laughs> um, as I speak, you know, I'm happy to stay at home this morning. I'm, I'm out and about a little bit, but you know, we still have to do what we have to do. Here in Australia, we don't have any um, 
I think it's still gathering under 500, so it's kind of life as normal still, just with no groceries in the store, <laughs> which is a bit, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess it's still, you know, yesterday's topic of patience and um, just make sure you plan some time, even if the kids are home or whatnot, if everyone's around, plan some time, figure out what makes everyone happy and do a little bit of each of that so everyone gets some love. Um, it's a good time to spend with some family and get the board games out, I think. Um, card games are great. <sighs> Gin. Yeah, well, I mean, card game, but also having a drink, I mean, if in doubt, <laughs> you know, uh, stay healthy, stay happy, do you, it's important to um, not give up everything, like still socialize by calling people video chats and enjoying company over the phone. I saw the cutest post someone is at a nursing home and they are kind of quarantined in the nursing home I think so the guy's son comes out with a camping chair and sits outside the window and they talk through the phone every day still so even though he's in the old the older um, gentleman is in isolation the son is still going there so he can see him and they talk over the phone like you know these screens and technology is a good thing in the sense of we can still connect as close as possible with our loved ones even though we do have to distance ourselves. So that's definitely a positive. Excuse me. So I've asked one of my friends, um, she's a big music person and obviously music festivals are getting canceled. So I said, I am fine for um, video concerts. I'm ready to let my voice be heard. Although she's probably like, mm -mm. <laughs> cause if you've heard, my, heard me sing, it's not always pretty, but I enjoy it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, definitely reach out to those who are social and try and um, keep chatting as much as possible as well. It's important to make sure that no one feels alone. Um, I'm trying to think, is it lonely or alone? You can feel no one is alone. Yeah, I trust you know what I'm saying because I always sometimes when you're talking about feeling alone or feeling lonely I guess even if people are around you you can still feel alone so make sure that you reach out so people aren't feeling that way um, definitely still connect you can be quite personable over video as you can tell because that's part of the reason I'm on here um, every day that's why I show up is to help provide the value that I can provide to um, to you and this is the easiest way I know how and it's me being you know just me being real so it's important to still get out if you can in your yard sit on the balcony um, even if it's a bit cooler getting that fresh air is good and definitely keep contacting your loved ones uh, yeah I think that's my message for today I'm going to love you and leave you and go get some shit done before I go home and have a chat, not a chat, before I go home and have a cuddle session, cuddle afternoon with my boys. Um, again, book him for a strategy session. I, I could go online and call it something else, but I don't know what to call it. If you just need to talk to someone, I'm here. If you are feeling extra stress or anxiety, give give me a call and we can just chat about some things that you can do for you um, so that you can stress less and um, I see that as my way of being able to help out in this time so definitely book in and just somewhere in the comments just say that you saw this on the live and you know you just need a, a happy ear to listen instead of give my opinions or anything I'm happy to do that so I look forward to chatting to you and I'm always here Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.